Hello, welcome pen friends. My name is Chris and I'm back for another video. Uh, it's going to be just a little bit about pen allowance stuff, which it was a little bit low key this week, but I still thought I would come on and do this anyway. And then I'll, we'll get right into my ink journal and I'll show you some of the stuff I've been doing in there, which I've been enjoying. So somebody else might, might enjoy that, I guess. Um, but what I got with my pen allowance, I did get the, the Lamy Vibrant Pink ink while well, I still could. I was really, really wanting to do that. Um, it, it didn't call to me immediately. It was after I got a, a pen pal letter and someone had written with it and it just looks so beautiful and it has, has not let me down either. This is my little ink. Uh, uh, I haven't done one on the cola ring yet. I will since now I have a whole bottle of it, but this is how it looks and I think that's pretty, pretty true, but I'll show some samples in here. Um, so that was my big excitement and to me it was really exciting to go ahead and get that ink it, and I'll show you where you know on my page that has all my colors I didn't have a pink and it was kind of between um, Diamine uh, Hope Pink and the the Lamy Vibrant Pink. I really kind of didn't want both of them. So um, the next thing uh, These are my Jen Howes and what I did with my pen allowance was I did go ahead and get a 1.1 uh, Goulet nib for this pen. This is the uh, Shimmering Sands, I think, one. So I had a 1.5 um, millimeter Goulet nib, and I've got that one over on this pen, and um, I love it. But I was thinking, oh, I'd like to have the other size too. It really, I, I have seen people write with the 1.1. And I really like it. And I'm actually, now that I'm using this for more pen pal letters, I'm starting to get used to writing with a stub, and I'm really enjoying it. This other one has a, a medium nib on it, the Gent House. So these are some of my favorite pens. They really write well. And, of course, I've got this inked up with a Lamy Vibrant Pink, which you'll see when we get into the ink journal. So I had gotten a couple things that I'm not even going to drag out because it was sort of like, a, a, you know... Not to get tempted and buy fancy things, but buy things that I really wanted. I, I needed a pink ink. I felt like I really wanted one. And I, I wanted the, the stub nib, and I needed Tamoy River paper. Well, everybody's seen that, you know. <laughs> and so I got a stock of that because for some reason, I enjoy writing my pen pal letters better when I have that. So it was it was all just little things, and got it from Goulet Pen, so I was really excited. And so let's get in here. Um... I wanted to show where I... So this was what I was working on here, and I didn't really leave myself enough room, but it does get a chance to show you kind of how these three inks compare. The Lamy Vibrant Pink, the Diamine uh, Hope Pink, and then the Karen Dash uh, Divine Pink, which is so interesting that I was so knee-deep in, in pink this week, and a pen friend, a generous pen friend, sent me four ink samples, and one was... Uh, this this one the divine pink so I had a really good time being able to compare because these are all three very distinctly different and you know it's so cool but I got to write with them I'm using that serendipity pen the one that's a hybrid dip pen and then I came back in with the Goulet um, 1.1 millimeter stub to write with it just in here but that's when I realized I really probably should have used a whole spread but that's okay I can always do that again um, you know, do it on another uh, pages, but this also gave me a good chance to see how they compared, and that's why I really love this notebook for is to be able to. Um, it goes beyond what I can do in my currently inked journal, so I'm really enjoying it. Let's see. I guess one other thing was another ink sample, and I'm way behind on ink samples, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But but this is one that I I had a, a sample of that I wrote on a couple of different papers and. Um, Still using that serendipity with a broad nib, and I really love the color on this. Uh, this was recommended by a viewer. I can't write at the moment and think of who it was that recommended it. So, yeah, oh gosh, that's embarrassing. But it's the J. Hartbon, um, I don't know how to say that, Poussier de Lune, something like that. <laughs> that's on the Nemesine paper, and I just taped it in. I had that right next to me when I was working. But, uh, so there was that. And I think everything else I've already gone over. Oh, no, I wanted to just go back to... This is this reference, <laughs> quick reference page. So I've added my Lamy Vibrant Pink in. 
So um, it really was missing in terms of uh, overall ink colors what I um, felt I, you know, I, I don't need to use the word need probably, but <laughs> but I felt I needed a pink and you know how that is, pen friends. <laughs> you know exactly what that's like. So it, it's kind of a low-key week, but I still got excited about having the the bottle of the the pink before it's you know I, I don't understand quite how it works but being limited edition I have no idea how long it'll be available and and once I decided I wanted it I thought I'd better not uh, drag my feet too long so um yeah that's what I what I've been working with this week and having a good time and I've got lots of um, more ink samples that I'm going to enjoy putting into here and and I'm you know realizing that I, I may do something like this and then decide that I want to do it differently and that's fine. Um, there's lots of pages in this book. This is that Rhodia Gold book and it's just, you know, I can fill it up. It's fine. You know, <laughs> I want it in a drawing. So that was that. And then um, I just, I wanted to show you something else. So I'm going to need to move some stuff because it's going to get a little crowded here. <laughs> I want to show you what a pen friend sent me this week. Right out of the blue, I had no idea. And I'm not going to say who, because she knows who she is. Whoops, now I've given, I've, I've eliminated 50% of the people. But <laughs> um, And I just really appreciate this. And the thank you notes are in the mail, by the way. But I just, the reason I'm showing this is because I didn't have any clue about this. And I just think it's so neat. It's a plastic case that will hold 25 ink samples. Well, um, turns out it's actually an item from my brother's world. My brother is a trap shooter and he uh, goes goes to trap shoots and he's won lots of uh, uh, trophies and awards for that and I grew up seeing him, sh you know, do that. But so this would normally hold 10 or 12 gauge shotgun shells, but it's it holds 25 ink samples. And the person that sent sent me uh five ink samples and then another pen friend sent me four and these are some i'm just trying to find homes for and work with but she sent it like this with this little bit of packing stuff and uh let's see i probably won't put it in right i think i had to fiddle a little to figure out how it went in there but anyway it goes in and then it holds it all secure so you're not having those files come out and in the little note that she wrote she said you know, it's great for transporting ink samples. It sure is. But I started to think about my desk area and how, um, you know, going forward, I, I'm i not trying to just collect ink samples, but I would like to, um, you saw what I called my stadiums. I'll go ahead and show you again. Just to, uh, my little stadiums up there <laughs> where I've got um, my full bottles and then some that I just got that I'm still working with. So I've got those, those little $1 from Dollar Tree. Um, uh, holders and then I've got the traditional uh, that hold 40 samples I've got two of those from Goulet pens and you can get them on Amazon too but uh, these will hold 25 and I've I've been looking around and I found them on um, cabelas.com and on Amazon and I'm sure there are other places my brother thought it was just hilarious he he said oh that's from my world you know but I'd never seen one in his stuff or my dad's or anything like that so I just think it's really neat because you could stack these. You could separate, say, um, Diamine Inks and uh, Karen Dash. You know, you could do something like that. And certainly for uh, pen clubs and meetings and stuff, it would be really neat. So I'm just so grateful to, uh, for to be introduced to this idea. I think it's really cool. I saw they had completely clear ones online. And they also had... Um, uh, this color which is sort of a uh, just a smoky color and I'll I will work on linking these things if my computer will cooperate I'll get them linked for you so you can find them so that that pretty much does it uh, in terms of what I just wanted to show you for this pen uh, video uh, other than the crystals um, just really going to mainly talk about one but I wanted to talk about how this all came about I was uh, having a challenging week this week, and so I wanted to put together kind of a little, uh, I would say, uh, you know, some people call it medicine pouch, but a little, a little cluster of crystals that I could maybe carry that would help me with the, with the challenge. And uh, those of you who have watched my videos regular know that, I, you know, I've, I've lost two 
members of my family this year already two cats my my pets and my older cat the very oldest cat the only remaining cat is ill this week and so it kind of it put me in quite a spin and I can't find her most recent good photo but this is her and her name is Marble and we don't even know how old she is we think she's probably about 18 she came and she was a stray had her babies here and and then uh I got her spayed and at the same time as her little daughter and anyway she out of the blue got sick and she's doing a little bit better right now but I was not doing very good I was having like you know uh, a lot of anxiety and stress so this new book crystals by Jenny Harding has a neat section in the back of it where you can go and there's a section for crystals for physical health and this section gives you things you know like or for instance eye problems and it lists the crystals that might be the most helpful um, uh, lung support and it tells you on that you know and that kind of helps it it really does because it gets you closer to what you might need well I noticed which I didn't notice at first crystals for psychological health so I went in and where it said anxiety which was the closest I could get I was out now panicked about having to go back to the vet this, this exact same place that I just had to go through so much trauma with my other two animals. But uh, so for anxiety, it recommended rose quartz, amethyst, and it, aventurin. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I've talked quite a bit about rose quartz. This is a little piece that I won in a drawing from uh, a lady from Utah that was running a drawing in a group. And then this is a little piece of the amethyst. And it's real dark. I'm, I don't have real good lighting right now. I've got lighter pieces. In fact, I've got a lighter piece right here. But I prefer the really dark purple. I'm not sure why. I like this one, but uh, it, to me that's not quite as dark, like, because this is the raw amethyst, and that's, oh gosh, that's really dirty. I need to, <laughs> I need to take that over to the sink. But anyway, the one I was going to focus on for tonight is um, this one, the Aven aventurin wow i'm not pronouncing things but this is uh, a little sample of that and i just thought i would talk about this one because i haven't talked about this one yet it says in crystal healing green aventurin is used to clear away negative emotional patterns and support the heart chakra it also calms <clears throat> powerful feelings in the lower abdomen such as anger centered on the solar plexus chakra well I don't I didn't have anger I don't think what I had was just this sinking feeling and worry like gut instinct that oh she's really sick you know she wasn't eating for two days and anyway I was just really an adventurin encourages the expression of gratitude hope and positive approaches to life it can also help neutralize geopathic or electromagnetic stress which is interesting too because I've been doing a lot of going outside and and uh, putting my bare feet on the grass, that kind of thing, you know, trying to get centered and make good decisions and stuff like that. So anyway, that's what I came up with to carry uh, for this week. And, and it's one of the ways that I like to just kind of support my intentions because my intention is to make the right decisions, uh, to, uh, you know, do the best I can for, for my family, for my cat too, and you know, and sometimes we can get a little carried away when we start flashing back on what happened to in other incidences. We have to stay grounded and present, stuff like that. Okay, that's a little bit, probably too much information. But this is who I am. I can't pretend that I've had a great week, but I did enjoy getting my pen things. And I, the only thing I could do when I had my worst day this week was come and make, you know, uh, work in the, the ink sample book and and index these beautiful ink samples that, that friends have been sending me. And the, the letters are in the mail. So if you haven't got them already, I really thank and appreciate people who just surprised me like that. It was so awesome. Even during a week where I really, you know, I'm surprised I even had time to open my you know mail because I was a little out straight trying to, trying to get things squared away for her. And we're, we're stabilized now, so... Okay, <laughs> hopefully we'll be back to our regular schedule of program next week, but uh, I'm just surprised I could even do a video today. So I'll, I'll say thank you. Thank you very much for subscribing, watching, 
and uh, commenting and this is a wonderful pen club that we got going on here of friends so thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye now